It was so weird to go down State Street and have it be so clear because I had just gone down Michigan and there were 50 billion cars there. Good morning, family. I just got back in the house. I dropped my husband off at work and now I'm going to make myself something delicious to eat and get my work week done or started. I should say, more start. I have a couple meetings today and I have a really important meeting tonight. Um, I have some amazing news, but until things are like under contract or something, then I'm going to keep that to myself. But I am in such a happy place and I'm super excited about all the opportunities that have just been coming my way lately. Um, so stay tuned for that. But right now I'm going to eat some noodles and then I'm going to get to work. So I completely forgot that I actually did an order for We, And when I got a notification for it, I was like, yo, this is a lot of stuff for me to actually take out and carry upstairs. But I was really happy because... I was out of a lot of my staple products that I use on almost a daily basis. And for those of you who don't know, like I said before, I used to live in China. And so a lot of things that I cook are mainly Chinese food as well as like Korean and Japanese cuisine. Putting all the groceries away took a little bit and I realized I hadn't eaten anything so I decided to make some of those delicious noodles. They're really good even though they kind of burned the roof of my mouth for a little bit. And once I was able to actually eat everything then I finally got to work like I said I was going to do and then, you know, ended up watching anime. After I got my work done and I watched anime, I went to work on my house and I was like, it is time to clean up. I hate doing dishes and I let them build up for a very long time. So I needed to do all my dishes. I needed to do laundry and everything else. And it was just a full, full day of cleaning. Hey family! So I am out the house. I have been cleaning and cooking and doing all those things. And even though I got all of those groceries from We, I realized that I don't have as many vegetables at home as I want to. So I'm out today. I'm going to head over to a Chinese grocer since I'm like close to Chinatown right now. And I'm going to pick up some groceries. I'm going to walk around Chinatown a little bit, probably see... Um, some of the new stores and things that they have open as well as probably head to Target because I'm looking for a book bag that I can carry around with me as well when I go to like the cute little cafes around the city and stuff and not just have a purse because it's really starting to hurt one of my shoulders. <laughs> so um, I'm going to take you guys into a couple stores because they're really building up things around here and I'm probably going to get some food too because I'm really hungry right now. There's a place that I have driven by so many times called Oriental Tea and I always see so many people in this place and now I understand why. It was really cute, great photo opportunities, and it looked like they had some really good stuff to eat. This place is super 
super cute. Unfortunately, I can't stay. I have like a whole bunch of other stuff to do today, but I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna come back with friends and we're gonna try on those outfits and stuff and just pretend that we are a Chinese princess somewhere. <laughs> It's kind of bittersweet going into Chinatown sometimes because I can see old stores that had to close down because of the pandemic, but new stores like this one have popped up and believe me, there were a lot of people coming in and out of here. There's so many cute things for your home and I will definitely be coming back. So this is a new store. I definitely have never been in here before. I heard about it. I heard that we're getting some more um, Japanese and Korean brands over here. So it is it is packed in here and it's really cute. And honestly, like they have some really cute home goods stuff. So I might be coming here instead of going to Target as I'm revamping my house. So I am officially hungry again after walking around Chinatown and I decided to try this new place that opened up not too long ago, um, Liang's Crispy Roll, and it was so good. Ugh, it was so delicious. I'm going to be back there probably weekly. Okay, so real talk, that was delicious. And I felt like I went back in time when I was in China and I was getting cholera and you would get like the lamb on the skewers and it was so good. And so I used to, it's like street food, you know, but now it's, you know, restaurant quality, but it's delicious. I will be back there. And on top of that, it's really cheap, but good. So this might also be a place that I can go to when I need to get out the house and study instead of me studying inside and maybe I can make friends with people and practice my Chinese but um so far like I'm definitely going back there 100% So even though I just got a whole bunch of stuff from We, I just realized that I don't have a lot of green vegetables. And so since I'm in Chinatown, I might as well go to the store and get some more veggies and some more um, household things that I need since I'm out of those as well. Okay, so I'm back in my car. I'm sweating. It is very hot outside and I parked in a precarious place because all these cars are not letting me leave yet. <laughs> but I'm happy I went out today because honestly, midway through being down in Chinatown, I was like, you know how you think you wanna be outside and then you get outside and you're like, nah, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> but I actually had a good time. Um, that last store that I went into, Park to Shop, they have two locations. So that's the one that's like dead center in Chicago's Chinatown um, and it's smaller. And then there's another one that's basically a warehouse. Like it 100% is a warehouse. It's really, really big. Um, and <laughs> that's what she said. Okay, focus. Um, but basically, if you guys ever come to Chicago, they are starting to add more stores. Um, and a lot more new restaurants. And so I I would definitely say come. It's definitely a hangout spot for me and maybe I'll see you guys there. See you guys next time. Love you, bye. Mwah.